Hey, Capchon has just released Capchon 21 14.3 update and you will just love it. Seriously, it's one of the most exciting free updates of Capchon ever. We have got an entirely new tool, Magic Brush, that allows you to create a complex mask from color in a single brush stroke. Just like old color range masks, but on steroids, it's much faster and smarter. Moreover, Magic Brush works with colorless areas as well, making it a real game changer in raw editing. Next, Capchon developers have fully redesigned the export workflow, making it way more user-friendly. There is now a single export window with a large viewer. Don't worry, recipes and settings are all in there. On top of that, developers have finally added several long-awaited improvements. You can now view images inside subfolders, overwrite existing files on export and synchronize new subfolders into your catalog. Sounds too good to be a free update? Download Capchon 21 14.3 and let's try out all the new features. Before we continue, I have got some fantastic news for you. You can get 10% off on Capture 121 new license or upgrade with this code Alex on Raw. Simply enter it at the checkout in Capture One store and you will immediately get a 10% discount. Ok, now to the first new feature – Magic Brush. Magic Brush is a new brush that allows you to create a mask from color remarkably quickly. All you need to do is to make a brush stroke over any color and Magic Brush will create a complex mask of similar colors. Likewise, additional brush strokes expand the mask. Also, you can mask similar colors on an entire image at once by selecting Sample Entire Photo. Basically, you can now create a complex mask from any color in a matter of seconds. Need to enhance some area on an image quickly? Make a single brush stroke and you are ready for adjustment. Now there is even more of a wow feature – you can mask colorless areas with magic brush. Thus, you can easily create a mask of shadows or highlights. Let's take this landscape. Previously, you would need to draw a mask manually or use Luma range to mask the background. With the new update, you can create such a mask in a single brush stroke like this. We can now dehaze this area, add a bit of contrast and HDR. Keep in mind that Magic Brush creates a standard mask so that you can easily erase, refine and invert it. By the way, the new Magic Brush has the same default shortcut as the regular brush, but you can quickly switch between them using Shift plus B keys. Either that, or you can set up a custom shortcut for it. Apart from size and opacity, Magic Brush has two additional settings. Tolerance defines the range of colors that will be included in a mask. Low tolerance will restrict your mask to very similar colors only. High Tolerance will create a mask that covers a broader range of colors. From my experience, the universal value here is around 70. Usually, it allows you to get the required mask with fewer brush strokes. The Refine Edge slider works similarly to Refine Mask feature. A higher Refine Edge value will create a mask with softer edges, which again fit most images better. I have tested Magic Brush for a while and I am still kind of shocked how easily and quickly we can draw masks now. In fact, you don't draw masks anymore, you select objects on your image in one or a couple of brush strokes. Layers now save your time, not consume it. In the new update, developers have finally redesigned the export workflow to make it more user-friendly. There is no output tooltab anymore. 
all process recipes and other settings are now located in a new export images window. Here we see all the images chosen for export and a large proofing viewer representing selected recipe settings. Feel free to switch to the grid mode if it suits you better. Just as before, you can create custom recipes and export images in different formats simultaneously. Still, there are several important changes. Advanced export settings are now hidden under Show all options checkmark. Next, all preferences are now specific for the selected recipe. Previously, naming and location were common for all recipes. In the new version, all export settings can be different for each individual recipe. Location tool has three new options. Firstly, every catalog and session now has a default output folder. You can change it by clicking on the folder icon here. Secondly, you can export images into the same folder where original files are kept. Thirdly, you can now decide what to do with existing files on export. You are free to choose between adding a suffix to file names, as it was before, overwriting duplicates or skipping files that have been already exported. Also, there is a way to access export settings quickly. Long press the export icon and you will access a menu with additional export options. Here you can quickly export with previous settings, export original files and publish images to capture on plugins. The new export workflow looks excellent, but what about in-app recipe proofing? It's still here. Simply long press the proofing icon to choose a recipe to proof with. Apart from these new features, the new update adds several minor improvements. Firstly, you can now view images in catalog subfolders. Previously, this was a real headache for former Lightroom users, who got used to browsing all images in subfolders collectively. The new update makes this feature available in Capchon as well. Still, you can always turn it off if you wish. Next, you can now synchronize new subfolders into the catalog. Simply right-click on a folder, choose Synchronize and select Include subfolders. To synchronize images from known folders only, select Only include previously added subfolders. Finally, you can now trigger an exposure from Capture One when tethering with Fujifilm cameras. Also, several Leica cameras and lenses have now got support for Focus Notch tool. Previously, in my Capture One 21 overview, I predicted that we would see more new features in the upcoming free updates. Capture One 14.1 introduced style brushes, the new import viewer, additional Pro Standard profiles, the increased zoom, redesigned Keystone tool and a live view feature for Leica cameras. Capture on 14.2 came out with native support for the new M1 Apple Silicon. Now Capture on 14.3 brought us Magic Brush, new export and other valuable improvements. Here is a short summary of all the new features that have been added with Capture on 21 release. If you have been a bit disappointed with the first version of Capture 121, you can now see that the upgrade is 100% worth the money. Thank you for watching. There is a simple way to support my work if you have found this video useful. Just use this code at Capture on checkout. Alex on Raw.